Welcome to Miccosu Provincial Park. I'm at the trailer dump station right now. It has one dump station and two potable water fill-ups. One on the right side, one on the left side. The dump station hose is not threaded, but the uh, potable water fill-up hoses are threaded. Not really thrilled with the design. It was busy when we got here. This is a loop to pull in. There's no bypass, so you can't pass somebody dumping if you're just trying to get to the potable water. And then to exit this loop, you have to go right past the garbage cans. Well, if there's people putting garbage at the garbage cans or lined up for the dump station, you can't get out of the dump station. There are two campgrounds, hardwood and pines. We're staying in pines, site 394. There's 93 electric sites and 153 non-electric. There are two group sites. There are three beaches, north, center, and the day use beach, which has a pet friendly area and a fenced off leash free area. There's five hiking trails, totaling 5.4 kilometers. Now some of the sites here are massive. This road, which has the 140s and 150s on it, has some huge sites. Behind me here is site 148. It's a pull-through site, and it is one of the biggest sites I've ever seen. Check this out. Up in the Pines area, the corners of the roads have pull-through sites, and the sites are huge. There's one right behind me. And there's one right here too. When we come back, and we will definitely be coming back to this park, we're gonna see if we can grab one of those uh, corner lots. It is so beautiful up here in the Pines area. Uh, you give up a little bit of privacy because there's not a lot of ground cover, just the tall pines, but it's just so pretty here. We'll definitely be back. There's Horseshoe Pits right next to the Leash Free Dog Park. And Beach Volleyball. So this is the nicest pet exercise area I've seen at a provincial park. They have a leash free area that goes right down to the beach and it's all fenced off. to the Eagle Lake store. It's uh, off the campground, down a country road, a lot of beautiful cottages, 1.8 kilometers, easy ride.
Here we are, the Frisbee golf team at Miccosu Provincial Park. Let's rock. Well, we just finished two nights at Mikasu. Not a long time to spend at a park, and it's our first time there. So this isn't a full comprehensive review because we did only spend two nights there. But I tell you, in the, the time we were there, we made the most of it. We uh, went hiking, did four of the five trails. Kayaking. Went, yeah, cycling, um, played some disc golf. Uh, we had a great time. I gotta say, I love this park. It's a smaller park, but I really, really loved it. Yeah, they pack a lot into that little place, more than I've ever seen in any other park. What's really cool is, it kind of seems like two different parks. There's the one area, the hardwood campground, and half of Pines campground, which is very typical with uh, a lot of different types of trees and a lot of low ground covering that gives you privacy between sites and there are some really large sites um and then you get up to where we were which is uh the three and four hundreds and the pines and they're beautiful tall pine trees not a lot of privacy but you know what i'm willing to give them privacy privacy for that beauty and uh one really unique feature of this park especially if you're a dog owner is a large fenced in leash free dog run that goes to the water so your dogs can run around and go swimming while contained in a fenced area. Yeah, that's the best pet exercise area I've seen at any provincial park. The disc golf, they have a, a nine hole disc golf that apparently they had for a couple decades. And just last year in 2019, they put in an 18 hole disc golf course. And uh, you can go to the uh, main office and pay $20 to rent the discs but then when you return the discs you get your money back so it doesn't cost anything and uh, it's a great way to spend a couple of hours it's a lot of fun that was a gorgeous lake oh yeah lots to see touring around lots of cottages yeah that's a great lake for kayaking and paddle boarding because yeah islands uh, rocks um, it's really nice you don't get worn out but you get a beautiful scenic uh, paddle when you're out in that lake. And it's nice clear water for swimming in. The beaches were sandy. All in all, this is a really, really great park and I'm sure we'll be coming back to this park to spend some more time. Uh, Phil Dump Station. Oh. That was the only downfall. It was poorly designed. It is a loop that goes in with one driveway, you go in and around. So everybody going in has to come out the same driveway and it, it, when it's busy, it's just a mess. Yeah, and it's single lane. So when people are lined up to go in, the people can't come out. They're, they're just stuck in there. I think it's probably a, an older design before so many people had travel trailers and, uh, and needed to dump. But uh, other than that, fantastic park. For the ratings, I think we both agree. We give it a real good four. Sure. Yep. Four star. Four trailer. Right. Uh, it would be higher. We could get close to a five on this one because this is a really nice park, but they'd have to improve the dump station. And uh, we like the addition of a, of a store in the park and a visitor center. The visitor center is great. It teaches you the area around the park, uh, but they didn't have that. So that's our uh, Coles notes on Mikasu.
and now we are on our way to, uh, Lake. to Pog Lake. We did a review of Pog Lake last year, so we're not going to do a, uh, another review of it, but we might still come up with a little video for uh, Pog. So stick around and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.